Thomas the Tank Engine had always been a bit of a skeptic. He didn't believe in ghosts, goblins, or any of the other strange things that some of the other trains on the island of Sodder were always talking about. But one day, he encountered something that he couldn't explain. It was a dark and stormy night, and Thomas was chugging home after a long day of work. He was tired and ready to rest, and he was looking forward to curling up in his shed and getting some well-deserved sleep. But as he approached his shed, Thomas saw a strange light in the sky. It was a bright, pulsating orb, hanging in the air above him like a giant eye. And as he watched, it seemed to grow brighter and brighter until it was almost blinding. Thomas was terrified but he couldn't look away. He watched as the light grew closer and closer until it was almost upon him. And then, with a sudden flash, he was enveloped in the light and everything went black. When Thomas woke up, he found himself in a strange place. He was in a room with walls of shimmering metal and there were all sorts of strange machines and devices around him. He had no idea where he was or how he had gotten there. As he tried to make sense of what was happening, Thomas heard a voice. It was a strange robotic voice, speaking in a language that he couldn't understand. And as he listened, he realized that he was being abducted by aliens. Thomas was terrified, but he refused to give up. He knew that he had to find a way to escape, or he would be trapped forever. So he began to search for a way out, determined to outwit his captors and find his way home. As he searched the alien ship, Thomas encountered all sorts of strange and dangerous obstacles. He had to dodge laser beams and evade robotic guards, and he knew that he was in constant danger. But he refused to give up and he kept moving forward, determined to find a way out. In the end, Thomas's determination paid off. He found a weakness in the ship's defenses, and he exploited it to escape. He burst out of the ship and into the night, racing back to the safety of the island of Sodor as fast as he could. As he returned home, Thomas knew that he had survived the adventure of a lifetime. He had faced down unimaginable danger and come out on top, and he knew that he would always treasure the memories of his encounter with the aliens.